Our guest is pending arrival here in a couple of minutes. He's been driving quite a bit. Oh man, somebody else has purchased an M5. Hey, did that even have plates on it? How are you driving in Ohio without plates on it? Sir, I'm gonna have to stop you for no license I plates know, on the terrible. back of the car. <laughs> Welcome, Nate. Welcome to Ohio. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Nate and clip? Joe, nice Nate, Nate, Joe. Want an exhaust clip? Yeah, let's hear the 2B. Wow. It's a little rumbly at low RPM, but it doesn't draw it at all. I like it. Okay, 8.15 a.m. It is, uh, we well, got a weird date format there, the whip, the, the whiff. The 5th of November, 2018, we're in Hudson. We're now west, south, north of the turnpike, I guess south. Uh, pretty freaking early, but we've got a long day of driving today. We leave Ohio, it says come back soon. See ya. <laughs> Welcome to India. Hey, we got the V1 going crazy. Welcome to an E39 source video from an E39 M5. Nate, hey. welcome to the community. Congratulations Thank you. on your purchase. Uh, I have been in Ohio for the last couple days visiting uh, friends and family. And uh, I flew out from San Diego, but now we're driving back because Nate bought a car from Chicago, Illinois, drove it to Ohio, uh, crashed with us last night in, in, uh, in Hudson, Ohio. and. Uh, we're just on our way now. I actually wasn't planning on making this video, but somebody on the Instagram post commented and asked if I was, so the answer is now yes. Um, anyways, we've just passed Indianapolis, Indiana. We've made our first fuel stop. Uh, we're averaging 70 miles per hour, 20.1 miles to the gallon, and we are in about 300 and, what did I say, 15 miles or something? Yeah, something like that. So, uh, next stop, St. Louis, Missouri, a place I've never been before. And uh, we'll tell you more about this car later, but as you can see, we've got full leather. Oh yeah. So we're still in Illinois. I have pulled out the, uh, the user books, user guides and books here. I uh, found the service and warranty information book. And look at this. The previous owner of this car, in addition to a several inch thick stack of papers, actually used the included 2001 service book to uh, to write down spark plug replacement every 100,000 miles. Look at that. The guy did it early, 68 and 130. Uh, O2 sensors every 100,000, done at 102 in 2009. Uh, brake and clutch fluid due every two years, 04, 06, 08, 10, 13, 15, and 17. A little bit off there, but holy crap. This guy's actually done all this stuff. Um, M Mobility System cartridge was changed in 04 and 06. That's certainly due again, but we don't really care about that anymore. And uh, record of coolant changes every three years for the M5, and there it is. But it gets better. These things are actually filled out by the dealer with the mileage, the date. These are the inspection to and engine oil service receipts. And uh, this stuff goes through 2016 at 145,000 miles. Looks like there's probably an oil change missing, seeing that we're at 158, 108 now. But super, super cool. And even the first uh, inspection of the body was done here in 2005, indicating no damage. So guys, we found an Easter egg Cutting through the uh, the book here, just reading all that. Boom! Found the window the the window sticker. Um, this one indicates some of the specs here: titanium, the Napa leather, gas guzzler tax. Does have factory M audio split folds. Uh, looks like it came into Jersey City, New Jersey, Port Jersey, New Jersey, and it was sold by Perillo BMW on Clark Street in Chicago. Now. Um, I'm not sure, maybe this is the one the dealer would give you, but not the one that was in the door. So the one I have with my M5 is like the sticky one, I think. But, pretty cool. All here. Coming into St. Louis, it's been raining for the past few hours, but you can see the arch, I've flown over this place before. Never been here on the ground. Just beautiful Midwestern weather for us today, too. And welcome to Missouri. We're on the west side of the Mississippi now, and we actually need to change discs over here, because look, on that side of the river, 
We lose everything. We go from the east disc. This is the Mark IV in a DVD. The east disc to the west disc. Okay, camera's getting wet. It's coming down. And we're both too stubborn to get an umbrella or anything. So M5 is parked. Uh, about 30 feet from the Mississippi River, so hopefully that doesn't decide to swell too much. There's a lot of debris. We're gonna go up in the arch. How's it going? Pretty good. This is the top, looking east. It's pretty hazy and foggy out there. Straight to the Muddy River. Yeah, right into the Mississippi. That is pretty high up. And that's the entrance way where we came in. Now it's Tuesday. We have left Missouri. We are entering Kansas. Yeah, it's 50 degrees out here. The car's doing great. Uh, we're leaving Missouri behind. We're gonna visit Kansas for just a few minutes and then on to Oklahoma. Yep. I do not remember their names. Do you, Nate? Nader. Nader? Red. Sheriff. That's pretty cool. Car's on 66 here in Kansas. We just drove into the little town. Decided to get some pictures of the M5. Uh, I'll get a better angle there in a minute, but wow, this is their downtown. So I don't think we filmed too much on this uh, yesterday, but it's an 01, 158 and change now. Style 65s in great condition, super sports, 2B catback. Not for the source though. It's been a great car so far. And dead straight for miles. Not much else out here. It's warming up, it's 54 now instead of 50. All the way to Oklahoma. We're just, I think, north or east of Oklahoma City. And uh, we're filling up again. We're getting 19 point something miles to the gallon at uh, pretty high speeds out here. There's not much going on. Otherwise, car's doing great. Let's see where we are mileage-wise today. Uh, 291, feels like more than that. 291, we stopped for a little bit, I suppose, but uh, things a champ. Might as well take an opportunity to check oil level. Why not? And get a look at the S62, pretty clean. Somebody used a little bit of the uh, armor all on it, so it's shiny, but that stuff can come off. And I'm sure Nate will replace that expansion tank before long. So that would be Oklahoma City, home of the Thunder. Russell Westbrook, Paul George. And welcome to Texas, the Lone Star State. The road just got louder. We're headed to Amarillo. And we think that's it. We did that. We did that. Amarillo. Yeah. So, um, I don't, I'm not quite sure, but we think that old pavement over there is the original 1926 Route 66, but now it's 40 as of uh, 1985. This one's getting a little crusty. Check out the front end. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Looks like something died. It's gonna need a pressure washer up there when you get back. Badass, there's a, a Honda's coming over. The BMW's trying to, and it's an F90 M5 in Amarillo, Texas. Like, why? Hey, bro. <laughs> the uh, frozen uterus metallic paint. They don't even notice. Look how dirty. Wow, it is open out here. Old school chassis, leaf springs. Danielle's stealing his show. 
Driving into the sunset now. We're out of Amarillo, Texas. We went south on the 354. Now we're on, I don't even 60? know what. 60? No, we're headed to 60. I don't know if we're on 60. I think we're on 60. In Texas, we're on our way to Roswell. So, we've got a couple hours on us left. It's getting cool. It's 69, 64. And uh, look at that sunset. It's a beauty. Comes a train. Oh, uh, yeah. Burlington Northern the Santa Fe. Those go by my house. <laughs> the M5 is on the side of the road, not for a bad reason, don't worry. We pulled over, we're letting these lights go out, we turned the headlights out. We are, what, 50, 60 miles from Roswell, New Mexico? Yes. This is astonishing stargazing. There is no light out here. See those red lights right there? That is the end. There's some sort of radio tower. Way down there, dozens of miles, there's trucks coming. But we can actually see the bands of color and light of the Milky Way here. And like, we're not even there. Good morning, welcome to Wednesday. It's 45 here in Roswell, New Mexico. A little chilly. There's some very tropical birds out there that are kind of interesting. But, uh... Here we go today. 880 miles to go today. Yeah, today's a big day. Roswell in the daytime. It's got a Buffalo Wild Wings, a McDonald's, a lot of different hotels and chains. Oh, it looks like a UFO. <laughs> and, oh, clever. Very clever. I like it. McDonald's. It's not open, but this is the, uh, what is it? International UFO, UFO Museum, Museum and Research, Research Center. Center. Yeah. And everything around here is <laughs> like that. There's space something over there, alien invasion, yeah, Roswell. New Mexico is very pretty out here. We're just a couple dozen miles out of Roswell. We've just come down some pretty big elevation, beautiful trees, some cattle. It's warmed up to 50 degrees, but the M5's loving the cold air. Not the cold roads as much, but tires are warm now, so everything's good. Looks like we're coming into the desert part of New Mexico. Boy, is that beautiful, though. Look at that scenery. First palm tree we found we find is in Tel Telarusa. What's the yeah, name of this town? Telarusa, New Mexico. Which is kind of we're, we're high up here. We're at uh, 4580. Telarusa, New Mexico. We're gonna be okay in the car. So we are now in the White Sands National Monument in Alamogordo, Al Al New Mexico. Had to pay a couple bucks to get in, but. It looks very pretty, so we'll get in a little further and do another clip. Please excuse the focusing, but this lighting is making it very difficult to tell what's in focus and what's not. But this is an awesome place for photos. I can't tell if it's crisp or not. The photos will turn out fine, but the video is a struggle. Just the ticking of the exhaust. Silence. Complete and total. left the White Sands Missile Range and crest the mountain immediately to the west of that. We're on the 70 West and the stunning views continue. We can just see for miles upon miles of mountains and New Mexico scruff. 
beautiful. And we're about to hit Arizona. Oh, wow, and holy potholes. Literally hit Welcome Arizona. To Arizona, <laughs> we hit Arizona hard. Hey, we made it all the way to Tucson, 218 miles since I took over in, what was the name of that one time? Uh, Derm, Derming, something Deming? like that? Deming, Deming, New that's Mexico, it. something like that. Nate's back at the wheel. How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, we're doing well. We went, we got through uh, through Tucson. Tucson had a ton of traffic, and there's still a good bit here. About 10, 20, 23 miles since Philip. But how many more hours do we have? Oh my God, over five. <laughs> yeah. Here goes the evening. The sign says San Diego. That's a lot of S's, and that's where we're going. West of Tucson, we take eight west, skip Phoenix, head to Southern California. We're getting an awful lot of bugs on the windshield here in Arizona. That's really bad. I haven't looked up for a while. That's horrible. Uh, I've been going through more paperwork. There's a whole nother uh, service history document, but check this out. Uh, customer states check engine light on, cat inefficiency, boom. $2,300, replace catalytic converter, 2006, so it has been a while, but they're the refit manufactured ones, so they may last longer. Man, that's a lot of money for a check engine light. Whoever owned this car previously, I love this. Customer reports engine cover carbon fiber trim scratched, last visit. Look at that, replaced intake manifold trim right off per somebody at cost. Boom, new plenum. This is on a tire receipt here. Look at that, what is it, fourth line? Upcharge for BMW M wheels at $15 a piece. They wrote it on there, that's a dick move. Upcharge for M wheels, come on. We're gonna get a beautiful sunset here tonight. Behind the mountains, 80 miles east of Yuma, Arizona. And 10 feet past Yuma is the California state line. So, probably won't be able to film a whole lot more today seeing that we're gonna lose the light, but take a look at this window. It is just peppered with dead bugs. And that one, look at that one. Monster. So Nate, tell us what was for dinner. In and out. In and out because Yuma, Arizona is 10 feet from California and that's what happens. So uh, we just got the windshield cleaned up. Finally, the bugs are gone. Taking a look around the car here. Oh my God, look at this. Yeah. We we'll clean the headlights for safety reasons, but that's gonna need a good wash. Wheels have turned black, the white around the outside of the tires from the uh, salt, whatever. Gypsum. Gypsum salt flat mine thing we were at. Wow, it's still in the corner of the wheel, Nate. It's everywhere, the fender liners. Exhaust has gotten all crummy. Yep. So we'll be getting a bath. Bath soon? Bath soon, very soon. Yeah, Fine. hours. Hours. Yet again, the side of the road. Still not broken, it's in a five, they don't break. We're about to take this car into California. I guess technically we are, we're on the west side of the Colorado River, just leaving Yuma, Arizona. And uh, cool little fun fact here, we pulled off to get a couple pictures, even though it's daylight, or it's dark, dusk, dark, unfortunately. Uh, entering Pacific time zone in the state of California, but check out the odometer. This is kind of neat. Just about to hit $160,000. It's $1,000. 160,000 miles. We went to In N Out. They don't serve alcohol there as we enter California. So we got off of the Gordon's Well Access Road uh, about 20 miles into California and uh, made a left. And that fence down there is Mexico. That is Donald Trump's wall. We will not be taking the car on the other side of that fence, needless to say. Is this supposed to sit in vertically? Either way. How'd it do? Well, gotta wipe that off. Stick the stick back in. We have made it over 870 miles today. today. 3,400 total since you picked up this car. Mm -hmm. All the way to San Diego. Halfway up the stick. Halfway up the stick. So it consumed a half a liter of oil in 3,400 miles. 3, miles of pretty good driving. That's remarkable. Biggest problem we had was the, uh, uh, the the rock chip, right? The windshield. That's the worst part, for sure. 
exhaust is warm. We had we drove it 34. He drove it 3,400 miles without license plates, and that no didn't problems. seem to be a problem. <laughs> no problem at all. We were never pulled. Wow. This is a hell of a car. So we're gonna end this video here. It's made it all the way to San Diego. You've got to drive it another how many miles tonight? 70 miles or so to another home. 70 miles. That that'll be a walk in the park compared to what we've just done. It's at 69 and we'll be done. Exactly. And uh, next time we see it, it'll be a little bit cleaner. A lot cleaner. A lot <laughs> be a lot cleaner, and we'll get a better look at at, uh, at that then. So, until next time, this has been Nate's 2001 E39 M5. We just hit 160,000. Is it 160,100 something now? Something like that. Yeah, awesome. That was a lot of fun. All the way from Chicago to Ohio, back here to Southern California. Final mileage count is... 160, 176 from 156, 722. So if you want to do the math, well, wow. something like 3,454 miles plus 70 tonight. Yeah. yeah, wow. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Say goodbye, Nate. Bye. See you next time.